Are you ready to chat everything socks? Grab your beverage of choice, grab your knitting, crocheting, and let's dive right in. I'm going to be sharing with you all of the details on commercial sock yarns that I've knit over the years. Now, it's no secret, I'm a sock knitting addict. I love it, I find it relaxing. I just love knitting them, I love gifting them, so it's just something that I always have on my needles. Commercial sock yarns are a sock yarn that is commercially made. So it's either from big box companies where it's not a single person hand dyeing the yarn that's, you know, more luxury. And these are commercial brand yarns. More known for their um, more wearable, uh, you can pass them to the washer and dryer. Those are more commercial yarn. They're usually about a 75-25 wool in nylon blend. Um, they can range from prices to $5 all the way up to $20, depending on the brand and the number of skeins that you'll need. I will be going through all of the details, how they've worn over time, how they knit up, um, the price ranges. I will be giving them a star from one to five, my recommendations, which ones were my favorite. We're going to be going through all of it. So I hope that you guys are as excited as I am. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a while. I've been knitting socks for over nine years and some of these socks are like eight years old and some of these socks are a little bit newer around two to three years but I really show you um I haven't even cleaned them like they're really out of my drawer I wanted to show you really what they look like um but I hope that you enjoy it we're going to be going through some opal regia west yorkshire spinners patents croy nitpicks and uh, I think there's one more so I'm just so excited to share with you I want to give you a little preview this is a cedar box and the cedar box is from nitpicks I'll put the link down below if you want to grab it this is the large size and it holds a ton of yarn this is actually my husband's sock drawer and some of these socks that are pictured here we will be going through them so let's dive right in First up, we have West Yorkshire Spinners. Now, West Yorkshire Spinners has a 75-25% wool and nylon blend, 437 yards per 100 grams. This one is in their signature four ply, which is amazing for socks, which they say on the label itself. West Yorkshire Spinners doesn't really have color we names. You can search them on the website, but usually on their balls of yarn, they'll just have these little numbers. I purchased this one um, online a few years ago for their Christmas colorways. I absolutely love the way that West Yorkshire Spinners, West Yorkshire Spinners has multiple color ranges. They have a bird collection, they have um, Christmas collections, they have so many beautiful colors. And I do love as well that they release tonals to go with their new colors, so it really helps out if you want to mix and match your socks. West, West Yorkshire Spinners also has um, that little bit of toothiness feel to it, but it softens up over time a lot. I absolutely love how it's self-patterning and it really creates fun pairs of socks. I had knit myself a pair out of the West Yorkshire Spinners a few years ago for Christmas. And um, this was in one of their featured Christmas colorway ranges. And I just used some off-white for the toes and the cuffs. And you can really see how well this has worn. I've worn these so many times and there is no holes, there is no sign of huge felting. Um, there's actually really no sign of a lot of wear either. This is around the heel where you would usually get a lot of wear even around the toe. I mean, you see that they've been worn, but except for that, they really look amazing. So I just absolutely love West Yorkshire Spinners. This was a pair for me that I knit myself, and um, I also knit my husband a pair. Now, this pair is a little bit different because I actually got the um, tube cranked out by a knitting sock machine. When I received the knitting sock machine blank, um, I did find that it was wider than my normal gauge would have been. So the width of this is because of the sock machine, um, not because of my gauge. But even with that, you see that they have worn beautifully. There is, um, I mean, you do see that there's little specks um, of the little, you know, around the dust. I would definitely pass, have to pass my gleaner on it. But over time, I mean, there's no real big sign of... Um, of it creating holes or anything. It really looks amazing. I used Nitpick Stroll in Poppy Field for the heels, toes, and cuffs on this and just really, really love it. 
I definitely have to give West Yorkshire Spinners a five out of five. I love the colorway ranges. I love the price. I love how it wears over time. I love that they are amazing for gift knitting, um, very low maintenance and low care. So definitely get a five out of five from me. Now the next up, oh dear. This pair of socks, well, this is Opal. I did knit a pair of socks for my husband years ago. I wanna say maybe six years ago. I purchased this yarn from my local yarn shop and you can definitely see that they have been very well loved. But the problem is, look at the size of the stretch. I have tried passing this through the washer, the dryer, I've tried everything and they just will not shrink back to size. I've also seen, um, there's a few places where it's actually coming undone right here, um, over here, just overall, um, I was not impressed. And this actually happened within the first time that he wore them. So it was very, very disappointing how they stretched out really fast. Um, I could see that if it stretched out over the years, but after a few wears, um, I couldn't get them back really into the normal size of a pair of socks. So for an example, for reference, this is the size of the of a of a sock and it is almost double so you really see here <clears throat> how it knit up um there's also a hole here holes here i mean i could go on on this sock and not not in a great way opal does have a lot of different colors which is great their price point as well i want to say it's about 18.99 canadian a ball really nice and affordable because you only need one ball for a pair of socks, just like the West Yorkshire Spinners, but I do not find that they wear well. Now, could it have been that it was a few years ago and my gauge has tightened <clears throat> and it might be a little bit better, potentially, but do I want to really try again with a full skein of yarn that I have to purchase and then I spend all of these hours just to get the same result? I don't think so. Sadly, Opal from me gets a one out of five. So put that one aside. Next up, I have a pair of socks out of Knit Picks Hawthorne Speckle. I pulled a skein out of my stash to show you how it comes. It comes in a hank, which means that you will need a ball winder and swift to be able to um, get it into a ball of yarn to knit from it. It comes in 357 yards per 100 grams. And this colorway right here is Jupiter Speckle. And it is a 80 percent fine superwash highland wool 20 percent polymade absolutely love the colorways that hawthorne comes in and um really the range for the socks i want to say that i've knit this pair of socks over eight years ago and they still look amazing i have worn this pair of socks over and over and over again so you really see um this was just a random pink that i had from my stash um it really still has worn well. You still see the color. Of course, you'll see a little bit of felting here because these socks are eight years old. But overall, there is absolutely no holes. A little bit of felting here, which is very, very normal for you to have felting around your toe, your heel, and even in the back of your heel, depending on where you wear your socks the most. These, I wore them into boots and shoes and everything, and they still look absolutely incredible. I love that it hasn't really overstretched, that it's still a good um, width. You do see, like I said, a little bit of felting here and there, um, but overall, this pair of socks really held up beautifully. I knit this out of, I wanna say that it's Cosmic Speckle that I think you can actually still get on the website. It might look a little bit different because this was years and years ago, but I would definitely give um, Hawthorne a five out of five because it is one of my oldest pairs of socks and I still wear to this day. Still holds up nicely. It doesn't overstretch. Um, the price point, I wanna say that they are $11.99 to $13.99 US a skein for 100 grams, which gives you an entire pair of socks. So overall, um, yes, you get a little bit of felting, but that is to come over <laughs> eight years. But I would definitely give a Hawthorne from me a five out of five. The next yarn that I'm going to be going through is Regia. Now, Regia is very similar to Opal, but in my personal opinion, Regia is better. I've knit three different pairs of socks out of Regia for myself, and I've knit a few more 
um, for my family. These socks, um, I want to say this this one would have to be about three year, uh, four years old. This one uh, would be five years old. And I want to say the same thing for this one. So they're all around five, four to five years old. Um, and you can still see how amazing they look. I've never um, used my gleaner on these. I've never used anything and they still look amazing. So this one was knit about five years ago. Um, you can really see that there is no big holes. There is no huge signs of wear. Love how it's worked up over time and how it still holds its shape really well. Um, I love that Regia, these were the Arnie and Carlos lines. Uh, they also have some Perfect. They have so many amazing amazing colorways and they are um, on the same price approximately as opal I want to say it would be between $18.99 to $20 a skein they are very easy to find online you can go through eBay to different stores um, maybe even your local yarn shop so this one was in the winter I think it's winter nights or summer nights colorway it was in one of their um, winter ranges so these two, if you see, they're very similar. They were in the same range. They're just the different colors. So they have the same self-patterning, which if you all know me, I love a sock yarn that is a self-patterning yarn. So this one as well wore absolutely amazing. I actually knit these. Um, I absolutely love the stories behind socks. I knit these when we um, were on a vacation for me and my husband and when he proposed. Um, so it's super special to have these socks because I remember the drive where we went and um, when he proposed for us when we were engaged. So it just holds special memories and I love how well they've worn. You really see I'm turning the sock all over. There's no holes. There is no nothing. I just absolutely love it. And the last pair of socks is also from um, Regia, but you can see this right here is the most worn and you see it's the most felted. Uh, this right here is Patton's Crore in Charcoal. So it's a different yarn than the um, than the Regia. This one I actually knit when um, I was in the hospital pregnant with uh, my girls. So I had to stay overnight once because they almost came way too early. Sorry for all the little hairs. Um, so that holds a very, very special memory to me. Um, that I knit these in the hospital waiting for them. I absolutely love this colorway. I think if I had another skein, I would knit it up again. I just really love all the different colors. Um, you really see, you know, a little dirty, but I've just, I really wanted to show you guys without cleaning anything, without passing a gleaner, wanted to show you the real wear and tear of the socks. Um, so this right here I used for the heel. It is uh, Patton's Croy in charcoal, the Patton's Croy socks and this is how it's worn and i have worn these socks a lot and it really still looks absolutely amazing i've passed all of these socks have passed through the washer the dryer i've done them through um, my boots my shoes everything regia definitely gets a five out of five um probably my number one yarn for socks of self-patterning, a fun, their colorways, uh, their price range, everything, Regia would probably be my number one yarn. Next up, we have Nitpix Felici. Nitpix Felici is a sock yarn, I'll probably just grab one of these, um, that I've knit with a lot in the past. I've made my husband at least four pairs of what I could find. I went all over the house trying to find um, all of his pairs of socks. And um, here, they all are. Uh, some of these were knit by hand and some of these were cranked. I want to say that this one would be the only one that um, I had the tubed crank. I know I knit that one. Yeah, I knit all the other ones by hand. So you can see that there is a little bit of, um, you know, the little dust, but that would easily be cleaned off with a gleaner. Um, these were all, again, I would say potentially at least five years old, four years old, potentially. Throughout the years, I've knit him so many, um, I've knit so many Felici that I've lost count. So this, again, is that charcoal from um, Patton's Croy. So you can see that the charcoal, you know, is getting those little, little bumps and definitely getting that little dust 
but I wonder cleaning it with my gleaner how well those will all come off. And except for that, this sock looks incredible. I cannot get over how amazing it still looks after so many years. So this would be one of them. The second one, my husband has worn this one. I mean, it even, this one actually felt it a little bit. You can see um, the colors aren't as crisped as this one. I think he passed this one through the dryer one too many times. <laughs> and this, the heel, I don't even know what I use for my stash, but this definitely felt it in the dryer. Sometimes they get put in there by accident, and uh, this one definitely did. You can see that, but it still keeps its shape, still looks amazing. So even if it, you know, it felt it a little bit, it still fits him. Um, so it just kind of gives that extra squishiness to that. The last one, um, absolutely adore this one. I want to say this one is Lost Lake. Can't remember all the names, but this one as well. Um, you can really see that there's no holes. See that there's a little dirt. Oh, right here. All right, you guys, this is really the first sign of wear in a pair of socks. Let me show you. Okay. Now you see right here, you see my hand potentially, well, very soon. I'm going to have to, um, I'm gonna have to mend that because that is gonna, just gonna make a big hole. So this would be the first hole that I would ever get in a pair of socks. And um, I know that this pair of socks my husband has worn a lot. So that is definitely something um, that I'm gonna have to keep an eye on. Except for this area, I think that's it for all of um, the sock. But yeah, so Nipix Felici, I even grabbed some to show you guys is also um, comes in these little 50 gram balls. It's 218 yards per 50 grams, and it is a 75-25 superwash merino nylon blend. Now, it does say tumble dry low, so I do agree with them. Don't put them in the dryer. Um, that's what I, I did with this one, so that's why it looks like that. Um, I love Felici, so you need two little 50 gram balls for a full pair of socks. I would give Felici a 4.5 out of 5. Um, I don't want to give it, I was going to give it a full 5 until I saw that the wear and tear here um, definitely means that I'm going to have to be mending as well that I did felt a little bit in the dryer. Now I take full responsibility for this because it does say on the tag not to put it in the dryer. So I would say that Felici gets about a 4 to a four and a half star um, from me. All right, the next one is Patton's Croy. Pat's Croy Socks is very affordable where you can get at your local Michaels, at Joann's, um, and is a thicker, a heavy, heavyweight fingering, I would say. It's a little bit thicker. Um, I would use about a 2.5 to 2.75, potentially, even if you're a super tight knitter, a three millimeter needle to be able to make these socks. Um, Patton's Croy, I do love the, the different colorways. Uh, I did find, though, that some of their colorways, um, if you bought two different balls, which you need two balls to be able to make a full pair of socks, sometimes they didn't match. You would start knitting identically, and all of a sudden, things would change, and it would be different stripes, or it would be different colors. It has happened, and I know that um, some knitters found that as well. I do also find that they stretched out a lot over time compared to the other commercial yarns. Um, I do think that it retails for $8.99 Canadian a ball. So you are looking at um, almost $20 Canadian for the socks. They do range around the same as Opal Regia and West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, except for the bagginess, I don't see much where, oh, I should not say that because right here. Okay, so we are gonna have to probably mend this one very soon. Um, I also have a hole in them. They stretched out like way big, like these are house socks at this point. Let me check this one. There is a hole right here, it came undone. Is there any? This sock seems okay. So Patton's Croy overall um, would get a three out of five from me because of the wear and tear, the bagginess, as well that it's a little bit on the pricier side where you're paying $20, you have to get the two balls as well that not all of them are matching perfectly. I 
want a yarn that I know if I'm grabbing two different balls of yarn that they are going to be the same colorway and I know that I've had issues with that in the past. The next one is Knit Picks Stroll Hand Painted. Now Knit Picks Stroll Hand Painted is another one that comes in this beautiful hank of yarn that you'll need a ball, a yarn swift and a ball winder. This one particular is a uh, Koi Pond hand painted. They are 462 yards per 100 grams and they are the same 7525 fine superwash merino wool and nylon. I knit this pair of socks for my husband a few years ago and I would have to say that this is probably one of the most worn sock like loved socks. They are crazy soft. Um, there is no sign at all of tear of wear and tear like I'm really looking and pushing there is no holes there is no nothing um, no big felting they really stayed their shape absolutely love it there is a little bit of felting here in the back but that is normal for the back of the heel um, and a little bit in front but I think a gleaner could really clean that up absolutely love working with it um, in their stroll hand painted range they have so many beautiful colors and I want to say that it potentially around the $11.99 to $13.99 per 100 grams. Um, so you would only need one ball of yarn for a full pair of socks. I also love that their range that it is micro striping. So it really creates kind of like a self patterning yarn for you. I would give um, Stroll hand painted a five out of five. I really love the softness and I do love that they are durable at the same time. There is no huge signs of wear and tear, bagginess. Um, the colorways are absolutely amazing and the price point I do find is reasonable. The last pair of socks is paint box socks. I I purchased, I did not receive, I purchased these socks um, from Lovecrafts a few years ago and absolutely fell in love with the different colors. Their sock yarn comes in the same ball as Opal and Regia. I would show them to you, but I don't have another ball. And I'm very disappointed that I don't because I really did love knitting this pair of socks. I just used a random scrap for the um, toe and heel. And overall, the colors were absolutely beautiful. I love how uh, long the patterning was for this pair of socks. It really just wasn't little short repeats. It was a very long and nice, beautiful, repeat. I love as well the different colors, um, the saturated colors. It just overall was an amazing sock and so much fun to knit. I'm a little disappointed I don't have any of it in my stash because I really did love it. I don't see any huge signs of wear and tear overall and I know that my husband has worn these socks a lot as well. There's no holes, there's no huge felting, um, and the price point I do want to say, like I said, I need to pass a gleaner on these. Uh, the price point, I do want to say that they are very affordable. I will put all of the links in the price points below to make sure that um, I'm giving you accurate. But overall, really, really love this pair of socks. We'll double check the heel and the foot. Really see that there is no huge problem. Love that. This one, the paint box, definitely gets a five out of five from me. Absolutely love the different colors that it comes in. I love the price point. I love that um, it's self-patterning. I love the wear that it has over the years. I do want to say that this one is probably three to four years old. And you really see that the structure is still the same. It's still nice and tight. Um, hasn't really given out over the years. So I really enjoy that. All right, everybody, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you have any questions, please list them down below. Also, let me know, um, do you agree with some of the reviews or is there some that you found worked best for you? I would love to know if you have any other ideas or any other yarns you would love for me to review. So as always, everyone, happy knitting and until next time, bye.